What is going on, guys? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at a little bit of an older case, a cold case, if you will. And this is one that was actually requested by one of my subscribers. Today, we're going to be looking at the missing persons case of Desiree Ann Ferris, who would be 24 years old today. However, she was only 18 years old back when she disappeared on the 2nd of May, 2017. At the time of her disappearance, Desiree was 5 foot 1 inches tall and weighed 95 pounds. She was last seen wearing a white or cream colored crop top, a pink fuzzy jacket and sweatpants, and carrying a tan purse. Desiree has brown hair and brown eyes. She also has a birthmark on her abdomen near her navel and a one and a half inch scar on her left forearm. Desiree does sometimes go by her nickname of Desi. Desiree was out on the 1st of May 2017 with her sister and they came across two men that they knew. At one point, Desiree's sister wanted to go, wanted to go home and was dropped off there. Desiree stayed with the men and they were supposed to drop her off at a friend's home. However, Desiree never arrived there. Desiree made a call at 2.06 a.m. on May the 2nd, and she texted the same number at 5.14 a.m. Her last activity on Facebook was at 3 a.m. on the 2nd of May 2017. She was last seen leaving a house in the Marlboro neighborhood of Kansas City, Missouri, in the early hours of May the 2nd, and she was never seen or heard from again. The house where Desiree was last seen is in a very dangerous part of the neighborhood. It's noted for its drug activity, and Desiree's loved ones believe that people connected to that house may have harmed her. It's very uncharacteristic of Desiree to leave without warning or to be out of contact with her family. She was always in contact, either via phone call or via text message with her mother multiple times a day. And so this is very alarming and very out of character for her. She was also close to her siblings, and to this day, her case remains unsolved. There's not a ton of information out there regarding the circumstances, but the fact that she was last seen at this house that is in a neighborhood that is known for drug activity and criminal activity is very, very alarming. And because, you know, she wasn't considered to be abducted, there was never an Amber Alert put out for her, and of course because she was 18 years old. And I don't feel like law enforcement ever took Desiree's case nearly as seriously as they should have. So at this point, the case has gone cold, and we really need to put a new light on the disappearance of Desiree. Her family to this day is still holding on to hope that one day she's going to walk through that door, that one day she will get in contact with them, and we don't know for certain that she met foul play. For all we know, she could be being held hostage against her will. We've certainly seen cases like that where children come home after 20 or 30 years. I covered a similar case earlier today on the channel. But we definitely need to get her face back out there circulating on social media Someone out there has information as to what happened to Desiree. And after six years, it's time that we bring her home. Whether the worst has happened or whether she's still alive out there somewhere, this family deserves closure and this family deserves answers. Anyone that has information on Desiree or her whereabouts is asked to get in contact with the Liberty Police Department. That number is 816-439-4701. So guys, do me a favor, give this video a like. It does help more people to hear Desiree's story and to see her face. And obviously, the more people that see her, the better the chances are that we can bring her home safe or bring closure to this family. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. And if you ring this notification bell, you'll always be alerted whenever I post another missing persons video. 
But the most important thing that I need for all of you to do is to simply click that share button, guys. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media. It only takes a second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world in finally putting Desiree's case to bed and bringing her home to her family. As always, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring Desiree home safe.